In 2007, Kevin Garnett broke his loyalty to the Timberwolves and was traded to Boston, immediately winning the chip his Hall of Fame talent deserved. In 2019, the Wolves thought Andrew Wiggins was the problem, but he won a chip without them three years later. It's time to start wondering, when will Anthony Edwards realize he was drafted to the worst franchise in sports? In March 2021, a Reddit user did the math and found that Minnesota was worse than ever Every other team in North America. The worst team in the NHL, the Arizona Coyotes, with an all-time 480 win percentage. Worst in baseball, the Padres, WNBA, Dallas Wings, NFL, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and the Wolves behind them as the worst of all time. Since then, the percentage has bumped to 402, but that's still dead last. But last season, there was hope. They got the seventh seed and won their second playoff game in 18 years. So to capitalize on that success, they pulled off a huge trade. The worst one in NBA history. But there is a way to fix the Rudy Gobert disaster because if they don't, Anthony Edwards' all-star career will be severely damaged. It's hard to explain how bad the Gobert trade actually was. They dealt four first-round picks, a pick swap, the rights to walk Walker Kessler, plus Malik Beasley, Patrick Beverly, Jared Vanderbilt, and Leandro Balmero. That is basically six picks and three good role players. Walker Kessler alone couldn't be traded for Gobert right now. Kid ended up being a Rookie of the Year candidate. It was the second largest deal for one player ever. The biggest was the Clippers getting Paul George, and we all know that actually got them Kawhi Leonard too. So you could say the biggest trade ever was for Rudy Gobert. Everyone knew that was a dumb trade, but it's been worse than we could have imagined. The idea was to build on last year's team with a defensive player of the year. But in Minnesota, Gobert has snapped a three-year All-Star streak, had his first season not all defense since 2016, having career low stats. What were they thinking? But first, today's sponsor is so rare, and I want to thank you guys for joining my private NBA league. It is free to sign up. Right now, we have almost 1,800 people in that league. But right now, we are all playing the so rare NBA playoff tournament. I want to show you how I did last week. About 78,000th. At least I'm not in the very bottom. Perhaps don't copy my lineup this week, or do copy it, because I'm due for a win. So in my lineup this week, I'm going to go with Desmond Bain as my MVP just in case John Morant isn't feeling too well. I can't play Kawhi, which really kills me, but I'm going with Jalen Brown, even though he might be a little banged up. Chris Paul is in there. Dennis Schroeder, because D'Angelo Russell continues to be bad. And Robert Covington, who should get more minutes without Kawhi. So rare is a ton of fun. It's NBA fantasy, but you buy, sell, collect, and trade digital player cards that are officially licensed by the NBA. You start your lineup, you have like cap space, you have to fit guys in perfectly, and and if you're in my private league, you can check out where you land on the leaderboard. Apparently, it's easy to beat me. So sign up. Click the link in the description. You get 20 free common cards to get you started. Remember to set your lineup for the playoff tournament. And thanks again to Sorare. The dude who did this trade is Tim Connolly. He was brought in from Denver to reshape the roster. This man drafted Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter. He's supposed to be smart. I guess when you enter the T-Wolves building, your basketball IQ drops like 50 points. If Rudy Gobert isn't an all-world defender, what is he? A good defender who's limited on offense? Who else is like that? Clint Capella, Jared Allen, Jakob Pertl, Steven Adams? That is is who Rudy Gobert is. But the Wolves paid for him like all those players combined. Capella was traded for two role players and a second round pick. Purtle for one role player, one first and two seconds. But none of those guys are as hated as Rudy Gobert. The Athletic asked current NBA players about other NBA players. Who's the best defender? You would think a three-time defensive player of the year would get a vote. Drew Holiday, number one by a mile. Lou Dort, Brooke Lopez, Jaron Jackson, no go bear. Nine other players received just one vote. He didn't even get that. We know he's at least deserving of one vote, but players didn't give him that because they don't respect him. A leaked report said when D'Lo was there, he hated him. D'Angelo Russell was very frustrated with Rudy, not being able to catch some passes, missing layups. I'm sure there's other players who had some frustrations as well. You think? 
Kyle Anderson got punched, but the leaked audio afterward of Kyle was just as crazy. Oh, so since the Wolves have no picks left, their only hope to improve is with a trade. The entire team has literally put up one good quarter in two games against Denver, except Anthony Edwards. He is clearly who they should build around, Obviously, nobody is going to take Rudy Gobert. The rest of the roster has minimal value to bring back in a trade, except Carl Anthony Towns. Dude missed a ton of games this year, and they figured out how to play without him. The Wolves' record without Cat this year was one game over 500, the exact same as when he played. A big reason was Nas Reed, who proved he can play well next to Gobert. But if Cat plays with Rudy, it really limits his game. I mean, when Towns is the biggest player on the floor, his shooting can break down a defense because a center has to guard him. But matching up with a power forward or a wing makes his shooting a lot less dangerous. Back in 2018, Jimmy Butler told us who Cat really is. We know Jimmy will call out a player who he sees as entitled or doesn't work hard. And he was immediately fed up with Cat and didn't believe he could win with him. Then this year, the craziest thing happened in the plan. Minnesota traded for Mike Connolly to be the vet on this team to show the younger guys how to win. What happened next is like something out of a movie. That's the kind of attention to detail you gotta have. Um, you can't just go home and play video games. Like, this is the time to, to do a little extra work. What's good? <laughs> wow. Apparently, Cat hasn't learned anything. And in the biggest games, his averages drop from 23 points to 17, a 40% three point shooter to league average, and one more turnover a night. The only way out of this is to deal Carl Anthony Towns. But even then, I don't have faith in this team. How could I? They're who picked two point guards over Steph Curry in the 09 draft. They picked Wes Johnson over Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, and Gordon Hayward. What will most likely happen is Anthony Edwards will sign his Supermax extension this offseason. But as long as he secures a player option, he will be tied to Minnesota for a maximum of seven years, which sounds like a long time to waste, but it's actually normal on bad teams. LeBron spent seven years in Cleveland before joining the Heat. Same for AD in New Orleans. By that time, Ant will be 26 years old if he gets traded. That is a perfect time to join a contender. Most players are entering their prime at 26 and don't win a chip until 28. Here's a look at some finals MVP's age at their first chip. Can you believe MJ won six rings but didn't get his first until he was 28? LeBron and Steph were 27. Look at what Ant is already doing at 21. In his first ever playoff series, he dropped 25 points last year. Against the Nuggets this year, he dropped 41 points, including this series where he blocked Nikola Jokic on one end, then hit a no hesitation triple. Unfortunately though, he was drafted to the worst franchise in sports. They can try to win with Ant in the near future, but if not, he is guaranteed to try somewhere else. But the flip side of all this is Trey Young in Atlanta. I dug in to the rumors that the Hawks might want to get rid of Trey. Check it out. 